Hello everyone, in today's video, I'll show you how you can send Kubernetes events like this crashing pod and Prometheus alerts to PagerDuty using Robusta. I'll show you how to get an API key for that. First, let me just show you what the end result will look like. So here I can see an example alert about something that occurred in my Kubernetes cluster. And I can see here all the different details, what cluster this occurred on, on what resource and so on. And if I click right here, then I can just jump right over to Robusta as well, if you're using the Robusta UI, and I can investigate more details, and I can see here, for example, the log of the crashing pot. So let's jump right into it. There are two ways that you can set this up. The first way is we'll go to a specific service, and now we're essentially going to say that we're all the alerts that we send, we are sending to this specific service in PagerDuty. So that's the easiest way to do this. And I just go to service, I click on here on integrations, and then I click add another integration. Here I select the events API V2. Let's move that out of the way. I click add. And just like that, I have here an integration key and I can configure Robusta using the instructions in the Robusta docs for PagerDuty, and I just play in this integration key and I'm done. Now, the second way that I can configure this is I can jump over here to automation and I can select event rules. And I just click here on the default rule set. And if I click on this, then right here, you see a global integration key. And using this global integration key, I can send events into PagerDuty and then you can set up event rules which will route these events to any different service according to all these different parameters. Now, by default, if I just send events from Robusta to PagerDuty using this integration key and I don't set up any rules, then these uh, events will go nowhere. So I'm gonna have to configure this. Now, one last gotcha uh, that you should just be aware of, there's another option here, integrations API access keys. And that's actually not how you send data externally into PagerDuty. So you do not want to use this API access key menu. That's the wrong way to do it. So don't set it up using that. Set it up, as we said, either using the automation menu with event rules or by going to a specific service and then adding a per service integration. So I hope this is useful. And of course, as always, we're on stack and let us know if you have any questions.